All right, traders, welcome to Trading Short ETFs preview webinar. This is Ken Calhoun, your host. Thanks so much for being here. Really excited to have such a big turnout, an epic big turnout. Hundreds of you. Uh, I run Trade Mastery, Day Trading University, and many other sites. Great to see a lot of you here. We're going to look at how to trade the inverse ETFs and what they are, kind of do a quick intro on how they work and why now, bet more than any other time I've seen, is a perfect time to be learning how to get ready for not if, but when the stock market crashes. All information in tonight's events for educational use only. I'm not making advice what to buy. So I'm watching the screen to make actual trades. I don't like swing trading short. So when the S&P finally collapses and gives it up, it's been congesting lately. It's still in an uptrend. So it's still not time to jump the gun. It's the perfect time though to get ready because the market this last year, the S&P did a huge sell off here and it's been showing pretty spotty signs of weakness lately this is a three month chart of the s p i know we're still in an uptrend ascending triangle continuation etc so still we want to be long bias we will likely get another upside breakout but at some point this is going to falter and you know this three-year uptrend starting to see some signs of weakness a hammer came to the rescue and lifted it back up but at some point soon uh, you know, it's likely to drop and when it does so, the bear or the inverse ETFs will be the ones that will be going up. If you look at, they've all been going down, right? They've been going down over the last few months. When the market sold off, they went up sharply, you know, and I'm going to kind of jump in the gun here. But one of the things I want you to get keenly aware of is how to trade these instruments because when the market sell when the market sold off last time and lost its 200 MA, this thing was up at 30. Now it's all the way down at 10. This is UVXY, the ticker UVXY, and that's the ProShares Ultra VIX short term, and that's the one way to play the VIX. And you can see that it's still in a downtrend, so we don't want to go long yet. But now is the perfect time to get ready because even with the very small drop in the S&P, this is very likely to recover at least this level. And if you look on a longer term chart cost adjusted this thing was way up in the sky back during the 2008 2009 sell off so still a bit early to be thinking about longs but now's a perfect time to learn the strategies for how they work so we're going to be looking at some tips and techniques for that this is for those of you who are new to working with me you may have seen me in cbs market watch money show the street.com stocks and commodities the late great active trader magazine thanks so much to bob dorman for having published that for 15 years sadly it's no longer with us. Uh, Equities.com. Uh, I've got a lot of background and I live with my wife and daughter in a big 4,000 square foot McMansion here in beautiful Colorado. So anyway, I've been all over the place. You may have seen me in New York, et cetera, stocks and commodities. My traders love me. So do my showgirls. We have a good time. In my Vegas events, in my money show expos, I get standing room only crowds and standing ovations. It's always cool. If you guys have any questions about the training on trading short ETFs, feel free to ask. And I'm not gonna give away the farm and tell you all the ins and outs of how to trade them. I'm gonna give you a few tips, uh, but this is kind of a preview for the main course that I have. One of the things I want you to learn tonight is a familiarity with what the bear ETFs are, what the current chart patterns are, and a couple of ideas in terms of strategies you can use whether or not you continue with me in the regular course. Now this course I've got six hours of I, I do this every year, right? I have the videos for you guys from 2012, 13, and 14, and I've got a webinar coming up for y'all on, let's go ahead and take a look at trading short ETFs in context of our markets and how professional traders do things that regular retail traders aren't aware of. The main thing I want you to get out of tonight is what are the short or the inverse or also known as bear ETFs, some example chart patterns, uh, We'll go back over some of the real money trades I've done and next steps for how to get involved with what I'm going to give you in the main training. So let's take a look at what these are. This is a sample of some of the very best of the inverse or bear ETFs. They go up when the market goes down. So for example, that's a good example. Let's take a look at S&P. If you look at, say, a six month SDS, that's the Pro Shares Ultra Short S&P 500. If you look at the long equivalent, it's an exact mirror image. So 
the SDS looks like this. It pivots down and it echoes the S&P, right? That's the SPY. The SDS does the exact mirror opposite. It goes down. Another good example, ones I like to trade are the VIX tight ETF. So XIV is a long, right, for example. This thing has gone from 26 to 40. It's done a really nice breakout run. XIV, that's one of the long ETFs. That's the velocity shares. That's the inverse VIX. So you know, like a double negative. That's the XIV. Your VXX, on the other hand, has done the exact opposite and gone down. Armed with this knowledge and the correct trading methods for how to trade it, one can potentially identify some very lucrative trading setups because now you've got kind of an arbitrage setup or you've got a situation where when the market starts to go down, you've got an exact mirror image of something that goes up. And that's how you trade. That's how I trade them. So, for example, when our broad S&P sold down here and sold down here, sold down here, sold down here, sold down here, Look at this region right here. Sell off here, just to keep it easy. That's SPX. If you look at the SDS, it ran up during that time frame. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I do not want to fool around with just one and two point wins. What I'm looking at is the leveraged ETFs like VXX, which when they run, you know, they can run significantly, either up or down. And if you look at the longer term chart, this price adjusted, you know, just back in a couple of years ago, 2002 had been up at 300 a share. Nowadays, things on sale for 20 a share, right? That's a tenth of it. So still not a smart time to buy yet because we're still in a downtrend continuation. But you might want, what you might want to do, at least what I'm doing on my own accounts, is starting to put in a sequence of buy stop limit orders to get me in on small ball trades once they start to pop. So here's something I emailed to y'all. A few days ago, this is an order I put in on the 12th. Just three days ago, I put in an order in my Fidelity SEP with a buy stop order at 11.10. Okay, that never got filled because it did a minor gap and dropped. So that's good. You know, what I'm looking to do is get long this thing if and when we start to get over that level. And then I'll leg into it or scale into it on successive moves. In the meantime, if it goes to five or six, no harm, no foul, because I'm not in yet. But I put in a buy stop with a limit at 12. So I'll buy it at 11.10. And if it gaps up to 11.50, I'll still get filled. But if it gaps up to, say, 12 or 13, which is highly unlikely, I won't get filled. So that's good. That's what I want. I want to buy it on my terms at a price that makes sense to me. So here's a real money trade, that, just 100 shares. It's only 1000 bucks worth of this stuff. But baby trade to start if it does start to pivot. Now, for those of you who are fellow candlestick traders, if you see, for example, a bullish engulfing or a hammer or a sequence of long candles that makes sense to get into on high volume, then that can also make for a good reversal sign. What's something that you see about this pattern? And this is just a taste of or a preview of the type of information, the quality of information I'll give you. Here is one sequence of increasing whole real body candles and so our long trigger, I'm not going to give it away tonight, but it'll be somewhere over here, right? We have small, kind of like baby bear, mama bear, papa bear, larger green candles on increasing volume, and yet sellers still pulled it down. So we wisely stay clear of it and wait instead for it to recover above new highs. Okay, and the whole point about this is leverage. Now, these are relatively, uh, I would call them riskier instruments than non-leveraged because these are the ultras, meaning they're, leverage this thing had been up at say 30 you know a few months back remember the last time the market sold off this thing was down at 30 now it's on sale for 10. it might go even further on sale down to six or seven we we don't know i'm a trader i just react i don't predict what i do know is i had how to put together a trading plan to potentially do really well profiting on this thing on a pivot or bounce up and one of the things that i encourage you to look at as you're trying to develop a personal trading plan in these instruments is become familiar with these inverse ETFs and what do they do when they run? How far do they run on average? How many days? How many points? Those are the type of things that us professional price action traders are always keenly aware of. So for example, ERY, that's our energy bear triple. When it runs, it'll go for what? About a month, right? It ran from early February into early March and it went from 18 to 24. So it's got a six point one month trading range, okay? 
and a six point down during the same month. Now it's starting to lift up again here. We're going to develop a trading plan to sequence into this to see if we can get six points, which for the sharp pencils in the bunch out there from 16, that would put a price target where? Who can tell me? Uh, exit target, yeah, from Lee and DT, right, 22, right? So that's an exit target. Now, a new trader would not know to look for that, and they might still ride the trade hard, or they might get in late, and they might buy at a stupid place, like 2150. And then it runs up to 22, and they're scratching their head as it stalls and drops and wonders, why did I get stopped out? Well, professional price action trading is all about price projections. And if we ran that far back there, all of us traders, all us professionals, as market mechanics, we know how to trade. We're going to start tightening in our trailing stops to lock in a profit and be selling to you guys up here uh, while new traders are, hey, it's finally running. I'll get in. And then they get stopped out and they scratch their head. And how did that happen? Well, because you didn't know the right signals to look for. So that type of thinking is what you're going to learn. Very professional, advanced mechanics of the trade in my trading short ETFs course. For example, I mean, you know, this just jumps right out. That's an obvious reversal, right? We had not only a fill in the blank, 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 but we also had a blank, blank. We had a shooting star and a bearish engulfing, right? For more on candles, learn only from Steve Nissen. He's the go-to guy for candles because they work, okay? Well, what I teach is how to understand how to make a trading plan with specific entry triggers. When we're looking at very specific and I have to say for educational use only, but they'll be the triggers that I'm going to be using in my own real money accounts for those instruments that do start to pivot once they start to run. But you do want to start to put together a plan to take advantage of anytime you see recovery patterns. One of the things that you'll be learning, I'm really excited about in the trading short ETFs. Now, one thing you want to look at, another quick tip to show you my technical chops, is recent buying pressure. Whom among these has re recent buying pressure? And, you know, the way you do that is just click through the dang charts like we always do, right? That one does, ultra short real estate, okay? That one's gotten reasonably strong buy pressure. It faded back off the 200 moving average line, which is a typical resistance area. Ones that have dropped so sharply from recent highs that are now starting to get some volume into them. See all this volume increase here lately and these green candles. We want to start developing a plan of attack for pivot trades. But now the opportunity, the emergent opportunity to be keenly aware of because we're starting to see a lift in some of these barrier ETFs lately, right? Like ERY, TZA, this nice run up. Some of these others are still kind of testing or probing new lows. So you don't want to go long yet in those, but you do want to have a plan to potentially trade these on the next time they recover. And that's exactly what I'll be covering for y'all in trading short ETFs. It's one of my favorite courses because I'm, you know, the go-to guy for, if you're looking at trading and trying to do well with these inverse ETFs, I still trade these to this day. I, I love these things. I've been trading these things for years. I know how to trade them. I'll walk you all through exactly not only entry triggers for current charts, but what types of pitfalls to avoid to keep you out of trouble. Because sometimes traders will get in on false breakouts. And what I want to do is keep you clear of those and in on those instruments that are most likely to keep going up. So, you know, learn from people that prove they trade. If they can't prove they trade, it's just a charade. Make sure they've got real money trading account proof that they know what to know whereof they speak. And even then you play it small ball, keep it safe. You know, I mean, I made 900 bucks the hard way. The biggest winning trade is only 300 bucks. Most of them, 50, $70 with $1 commissions, in my IB account, interactive brokers, still 936 net. Boom. So anyway, I get enthusiastic because I see lots of profit potential in the market. And, the, you know, this is my screen caps from I boldly go where smart traders go, which is buying the short ETFs and nailing it. Really excited about this because of all the potential, because these things are now at multi-year lows. And I am personally, let me ask you all a question before we wrap. How many of you think that the market may sell off a little bit this year? Do you think it's going to keep running on up like a good dream? Or do you think it's going to do mother of all sell-offs and catch some people unawares and do another 2008? This illustrates perfectly that old Wall Street saying that says the market takes you know, the escalator up or the stairs up, but an elevator down as it crashes down. Boom. Now, if you take a look at, say, I don't know, SDS. When the market was crashing, this thing went from 200 to 400. Thing dang near doubled. 
or it did double, right? And then now it's way down here. Do the math. But last time the market sold off, the SDS was way up at three, 400. Look at all the institutional volume that's been buying here lately. It's echoing or getting close to what the volume was back during the big crash of 08, right? Look at that profit potential, 200 from 20. That's a times tenner, baby. I mean, you know, look at that. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get there without a fuss. It's likely to chop and you're going to have some fits and starts along the way. And I'm going to teach you a position sizing or scaling strategy that's designed to help you correctly navigate the waters. And it's not using, by the way, the ETFs, especially the inverse ETFs, I'm an expert in these, uh, do not use the same exact support resistance breakout patterns that you use for equities because they're index tight instruments and there's some different nuances, some different safeguards you need to be aware of to trade these things successfully. And that's exactly what you'll be learning with me that you can order now. Hello, now that you've seen exactly how powerful this new strategy can be, I hope that you'll join me in trading short ETFs designed to teach you how to make trades during the market's upcoming sell-off. Best wishes for success and go ahead and order right now.